We're just talking about restaurants with Mayor de Blasio. And as Congress struggles to put together a stimulus package to help out the untold number of Americans affected economically by the coronavirus, the restaurant industry may be suffering more than most. In New York City alone, it is projected that up to one half of the city's restaurants may close permanently in the next six months to a year. This as restaurants nationwide are facing mounting financial pressures and everyone from superstar chefs to the local independent eatery is affected. Restaurant Danielle is 27 years old and we have been in this location on 65th and Park for 23 years. We've been managing this place together for 10 years now, working as a husband and wife team. Having been in the neighborhood for 38 years now has really established us as a community restaurant. When the decision was to close down all our restaurants in New York City, I couldn't imagine what else to do besides waiting and bring back the staff as soon as possible. When uh, COVID hit, a scramble ensued for us to try to figure out how to essentially turn our restaurant into a giant takeout window. The to-go business with Daniel Bully Kitchen was very, very welcome. And we kept the menu of Daniel Bully Kitchen on the sidewalk. And I never imagined in 23 years that I will be putting table out of Daniel. And as the winter is coming, we, it's going to be very challenging for our industry. We'd have a night where we thought, hey, we can do this. And then we'd have a night where it would pour rain and nobody would come out and we would get really concerned about whether we would survive the week. But uh, as time went on, we figured out that there's not enough money. Of course, the business is not sustainable the way it is, but at least it keeps a lot of jobs active and it helped us support our suppliers, support our community. It really took us actually telling our customers that we were closing and putting a sign on the door that we were closing to get the landlord to actually reach out to us and make us an offer. Uh, and then currently right now we are in negotiations. It's something that has far reaching effects that you can't really see when someone just turns the key and closes their door. It seems like just one business is gone, but it affects so many businesses. We want New Yorkers to wear their mask at all time, like me right now. So out of our 750 people we had in New York, we may have rehired 220 by now. That's great, but we're not there yet. Is Santa Fe coming back? We wish we could say for sure. Restaurants are being sort of quarantined or closed because there's an uptick in a specific neighborhood and we don't know how that's gonna play out for the entire city over the coming months. And that makes us all unsure. You can imagine those are like entrenched restaurants in a community that have had years to grow. And, and they're teetering on the edge. Imagine people just starting out or smaller restaurants. They go paycheck to paycheck. They're shut down. They're not coming back. And Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.